So in the 1990s, I was in grad school, and I was having a pretty hard time of it. And I decided to drop out. And the night before I was going to tell my advisor this, I wasn't sleeping very well. I was tossing and turning. In the middle of the night, I look over, and standing next to my bed is the shadowy figure of a woman. She's 60s, maybe, short, with this thick mop of curly brown hair. That's really all I could see. And she leans into me, and she says, Phil, you cannot drop out of grad school. You have to become an astronomer. If you don't, our timelines will never intersect, and Stephen Jr. will never be born. And I'm thinking, what? And she says, promise me this. And I said, oh, okay, fine, great, I promise. And she said, you can't tell anybody until the time is right, and you'll know when the time is right. And I thought, all right, sure. And then she mumbled something, and I, I remember it. She said, now I have to go talk to Joko about not cutting his hair, and I have to warn Paul about an oncoming storm. And I think that's what she said. And then she turns and walks into this blue phone booth box thing that's sitting in the corner of my room. I didn't even notice it. She walks in there, slams the door. It makes this loud groaning noise and disappears. It's poof, gone. I have no idea what that was about. And I've thought about that over the years. And when Liz finally emailed me about Molly, I realized what was going on. And I knew that now was the right time for this story to finally be told.